Hey guys, how's it going? Let's talk BMS again. Uh, from time to time, I get asked the question, what do you use if you want a high voltage battery? Something like, you know, with 50 cells or, you know, 40 cells, or, you know, over 48 volts, right? And for the most part, I've never been able to give people an answer because I know there are systems out there, but I haven't had firsthand experience using them. Well, that uh, now changes because let me show you what I'm playing with right here. Here we go. This this mess of a uh, thing here, it's my desk. And it's messy because I'm doing a ton of stuff. <laughs> and I don't have time to clean it. Uh, I do want to get organized, but it doesn't matter because right now I'm doing very important stuff. I am using and I'm playing this. This is a D-lithium. D-lithium. There we go. D-lithium design battery management system. V uh, version 2.2, right? So this right here is a BMS that will handle up to 96 cells. And 96 cells is a very important uh, number because that is the, the norm, that is the standard that has been kind of established in the automotive world for, you know, for electric cars, right? And so 96 is 350 volts nominal, 400 volts uh, fully charged, right? And so that is what the Teslas and everyone else is doing. So, so this is 96, it's pretty good. This is mostly designed for use in automotive, right? In electric vehicles, DIY electric vehicles. But this can be used for anything. Each one of these, well, this is a controller, right? And then these are like uh, satellites. That's what they call them. Uh, I guess it's no longer appropriate to say this is the master and this is the slave. But this is the controller and this is the satellite. And you can put up to four of these satellites. And each one of these ones will handle 24 cells. Right, right here, uh, I did this wiring here just quickly and I'm using uh, uh, 12 of these cells to go in here and just to do the test. Because what happens with these systems is because since they are for automotive use, they're not very intuitive, right? So for the average user, uh, this is going to be quite confusing and quite challenging, including me. I mean, I'm no different, right? I'm an average guy. I don't have anything uh, special, any special skills or anything. So I found this extremely, extremely hard to figure out. I spent all morning trying to figure out why I couldn't connect with it. And, you know, downloading, uh, uh, what is it, the, the, the drivers for the stupid thing and the other thing and it wouldn't connect and it wouldn't find it. And we finally uh, narrowed it down to this stupid thing here, which is a USB-C to USB, USB uh, adapter. And for some reason, this thing, it's not recognized by this computer, by this program, right? And this program, it's basically just a serial uh, screen or serial program right and uh, you know serial is like you know it's like uh like like the stuff in the uh like the computers in the 80s you type in commands and then these lines come up or whatever like for example uh let's see you type in a command like show config right configuration here we go you type it in there boom and then kind of quickly there it shows you the ID is one, so I only have one of these little units set up. You can set up to four, so you'll have like uh, IDs up to four. Um, LVC, that's low voltage cutoff at 2.5 volts. I set that up earlier, messing around. High voltage cutoff, it's at 4.3. Uh, the other ones, I don't remember what they are. Uh, VV min, that's uh, the minimum voltage in which uh, you can you allow balancing to go on. And that's three, yeah, you shouldn't be balancing anything below three volts. Uh, thermistors, this thing has a ton of input, so you can put uh, quite a bit of thermistors. Uh, I think it's like eight per box or whatever. So yeah, total of like 32 thermistors. Uh, and so you here, you can set up the uh, thermistor max operating temperature at 50. So at 50, well, you can set it to throw a fault and you know, whatever, do something. Um, 
options, balance, sell discharge, balance is enabled. So I uh, enabled the balancing thing on this guy. So there you go. There's a few of these uh, commands that I'm playing with and it's hard because you gotta remember them or else, you know, like show map. Is that what I did? No, show config, show map. That's another one, let's see. Here we go. So it shows you the configuration. There's one of these, uh, I mean, there's four and only one of those controllers um, has C1 to C12. So there's only 12 cells in one of four possible, right? Uh, show cells, I think you can do show cells. Okay, and there we go. There's the cells. So C1 to C12, there are the cells. Oh, look at that. So C11, it's being discharged right now because that is high compared to all the other ones. Is it? 227, 223, yeah, I guess. That's the highest voltage cell. And so it's discharging that so it could uh, match closer. Should that be discharging all the other ones also? I don't know, I have to look into that, but here quickly you can look at that stuff and whatever, right? So, so this is a very interesting uh, system here that I'm playing with. Uh, like I said, I find it hard I don't know how many uh, of you guys out there would find this. You, I mean, I think a lot of you guys, I think there's a lot of talented people watching me, right? Way more talented than me. And so definitely, uh, yeah, if you're not afraid by typing in code in serial screens and serial programs and having to read, you know, 44 pages of uh, just, yeah, that, that, just that, right? It's like, uh, then, uh, this might be the thing for you. I think this starts for like four hundred dollars. I think four fifty or something for the thing, and each another. And these satellites are like two hundred bucks, so it can get expensive, quite expensive, right? You spend like at about a thousand dollars in the BMS, right? But as far as being something that's robust, robust enough to be in an automotive setting, right? This this is it right here, and of course, also this has a can. Uh, command and also has loops that you can set to do a bunch of things. Yeah, it's got two loops that you can set to. Oh, uh, what is it called? Um, open collector, I think that's what it's called, right? So you, they either ground or they or they connect to positive. I think either or, right? And so then you can set these to activate uh, relays or, uh, or lights or whatever, you know. Or you can use the can. Um, there's two more pins here that there's can high and can low and you can set up a network and then that can connect to all kinds of stuff and and through that network you can set all kinds of stuff like you can set uh, a display unit with all kinds of cool stuff right you can set state of charge like meter and you know alarms and you know all kinds of stuff right and so that's pretty cool the uh conf this is configurable to many many things and i think it's now also compatible with some of these uh, lcd units uh vccs or what is that thing whatever the little computers for the cars um and so i'm messing with this right now because i well i wanted to find something that could handle bigger than just 48 right this will handle a perfectly good 48 volt battery because you know 48 volts is usually you know, 14, 13 to 16, depending on the chemistry or whatever. And so this will handle up to 24 cells. So this can do, a single one of these could do that and uh, can communicate via CAN if you want to do that and stuff. But for the most part, I'm, I'm just trying to force myself to learn this because I'm going to be installing it here pretty soon. We got this guy spinning. The motor is spinning on this thing. And so now I have to configure the BMS and install it and then uh, set it so that it balances the, the, the cells when it needs to and it cuts off. I think the only thing that I'm gonna set it is to cut off the chargers uh, in any uh, high voltage um, cutoff situation, right? And so that's gonna be the bare minimum. I just, you know, we can get fancier later, but I don't think we, can have, we don't have time for this on this one project. But 
anyways, this is pretty interesting uh, to go. Obviously, I do have so many other products that I owe you guys videos on, like this thing. Uh, I have to ask for an apologies because they sent me this uh, a while ago now, and I just haven't had time to do it. Uh, this one right here, I'm waiting until they are ready. I don't want to make a video right now and because you can't get it, right? So we're waiting for the production of this to finish and be well to work all the little bugs and stuff. And by the way, this is Electrodacus. This is a mass-produced version of the original Electrodacus, which is uh, this one. And then there's like another little one. I have two other versions in there. Uh, I never made a video on this one really because, again, you couldn't get it. You'd easily get it, right? So um, I, I'd like to make videos where I show you a product and I, sh you know, show you how to use it and stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, should I mention this? You guys are going to kill me. But um, where is it at? These came in and I got to make a video. I, I saw another one of these things is the... Um, where are they? Here, these guys. These are the CAN controllers for these little batteries here. The scooters. Dots coming. I have them already. I just haven't had time to post them to the website. Remember, this is the one where you would turn it in there. It would turn on. I actually already made the video. I just need to edit it, uh, post it, and then put this, this thing up on the, on the website and stuff. It's just so busy. So busy. Um... There's a lot of stuff happening here. We finally broke down all those batteries and now they're there waiting to be shipped. So if you order batteries from me, uh, they're coming, they're coming. I'm sorry that it's taking so long. It's just, you guys order a ton of them. I mean, they sold out like in four hours or something. So it's like ridiculous, right? We've never had, I mean, yeah, we went like, we sold like a thousand times, you know, percent more than we're used to. So. You gotta forgive us. Uh, I wasn't ready for that. I didn't think you guys were just gonna go crazy in those batteries, and so you guys did. So now we have to pay the price because now we're shipping them as fast as we can, but it's still taking like eight days or something. So there we go. This is just a quick video. I gotta go to sleep now. Uh, we've been working too hard. It's like the weekend essentially, and I'm still at the office. What the hell? I gotta get a life. All right, guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.